serious product. This is a brand new product, upcoming, I guess, new product from Acasis. This one here is a Mac Mini Dock slash Armor. Pretty sweet. The model number on this is the M200P2, which you can see here, it is a Mac Mini Dock. They sent this over for me to review. I don't always say yes to brands, especially like pre-release stuff, because sometimes, you know, there's problems with it. Not with Acasis, because I like Acasis. I buy their stuff. They also send me stuff to review. One of these I bought. One of them they sent to review. I have other stuff that I use from there. Generally speaking, I like their stuff. I use it as a daily driver in various different platforms. And when I recommend their stuff, this is important, when I recommend their stuff, the viewers in the comments agree with me and say they're fantastic. That gives me confidence to review this product, which is a pre-release. Now, what we have here is my Mac Mini is inside of this. Can you see it? It's my Mac Mini there, right? Mac Minis are sweet, but there are some major limitations of the Mac Mini. First of all, you only get USB-C ports, Thunderbolt ports. You do not get any type of USB-A port. So if you need to hook in USB-A, you're screwed. The other thing is they have laughable storage with this, 256 gigabytes. What the hell am I gonna do with that? Once I have the operating system on it, what do I get, 180 gigabytes of storage? It's like one video. I put like one video on my Mac Mini. Ooh, fantastic, it's useless. So there's a couple things that this will overcome for you when you get it. First of all, it looks cool. So it makes your Mac Mini go from horizontal to vertical, and that's cool. It allows you to access the power button without having to like lift up your Mac Mini. So right off the bat, it already wins for me. Uh, but there's some other really cool things here. So once you slot it in there, we get access to more ports. We have, that's the power for the actual dock. We have three, count it, three USB-A ports. That's really nice. Then on the flip side here, we also expand the IO out. So we have here two display port. The base Mac, you can see there only has one display out, HDMI. Now all of a sudden we have two additional outs here and their display port. And on the top there, we also do have access to a micro SD card and an SD card. So this is the type of product that's gonna be fantastic for anyone, anyone who has a Mac mini, anyone, because you're gonna be able to massively empower it in terms of IO. If you're a creative type, I mean, having access to these here is fantastic. Now, there's another secret here, something you can't see. Remember when I talked about the shitty amount of storage that a Mac mini has? Under there, under that little screw, if you remove that, I have two, two NVMe SSDs in there. I have a four terabyte and I have a two terabyte. So let's have a look at it here. So we get a metal, all metal chassis here. Get the camera down there. All metal chassis here. Uh, looks very nice. Get some of this crap out of here. Right. Gonna help with intake. You know, the Mac mini has a fan on the bottom. It's not gonna run super hot, but if you're using it for video editing and that, you do actually need some cooling. So it's gonna allow the air to come in there. I'm gonna slot it in. It's actually on Kickstarter right now. Um, I recommend you guys check it out. I don't put my like name on brands. Like I'm, I don't have any loyalty to a brand, it doesn't matter. But Acasis is one that I can tell you guys is good. I have I use Acasis as my daily driver all the time. My All of my video editing, it's not even here, it's upstairs where I'm doing my video editing. All of my video editing is done off of a case, an Acasis drive. I have an Acasis hard drive enclosure and I use that dock there all the time, right? I also have a USB 4 multi-port the cases that I reviewed and I'm just waiting for one more drive to get it set up. So, I mean, I can tell you guys that from personal experience, it's a great brand uh, and they seem to have, you know, good customer uh, feedback as well. So it's not just me. Anyways, there's a Kickstarter here, 15 days left to go. Uh, right now is the 19th of May. I'm gonna try to get this video out right away before the Kickstarter ends. Cause you know, these guys are cool. I like them. They're a good brand. Uh, you know, they, they treat their customers well from everything I've read online. And personally, I have had no problems with any of their products. So for me, it's, you know, it's an easy recommend. So there you go. There's your dual NVMe storage there. Let's start by getting the NVMe's in there. So that's that there. Okay, so that's the first one. That's the two terabyte Gen 4, kind of mid-range Gen 4 drive. These don't run super hot as it is. This here is a Samsung 990 Pro, upper tier Gen 4, and these do run hot. Again, neither of them are gonna run at full speed because they're, that's just, Thunderbolt 4 just doesn't run that fast. It's gonna be like the coolest, oops, gonna be the coolest running NVMEs of all time just due to that thermal mass of the heat sink itself. Okay. And the nice thing as well, you know, it's a brushed metal. It's gonna match the Mac look, uh, kind of that cut raw metal aluminum type look to it. Okay, that's that. So it's got a felt pad inside for the Mac Mini to sit on. Very good. And let's zoom out here slightly. So here, you know, you have the button, uh, and you're gonna want you're gonna want to line that up with that button, so you don't have to reach underneath here and somehow get your finger 
Another, which, like you can see, I was never able to. Just, and I don't even have the thickest fingers. So that's like that there. So easy. Now we have the intake there, I.O. here. That can plug into there for the host type with the most type. Okay, so I have my two U HD, uh, two displays in there. Now we're just gonna go like this here. Uh, and again, you still have access to stuff like ethernet if you need on that side there. You know, other displays out as well, you can do that. But we're gonna go like that there. I think that's a cute little spot right there. Okay, now that's Mac, the Mac's turned on. Turn the device itself on. Power button there. Clean. Kill off some of these lights. Boom, there you go, boom, right away. Now here's a cool thing. I accidentally disconnected my Bluetooth from my keyboard, uh, from my Mac. So for me, I don't have a uh, USB-C based wired keyboard. I have a USB-A based wired keyboard, which I can't use on my Mac because I don't have USB-A. Well, that's not true. At least not anymore. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, oh my God. Could you imagine, could you imagine a world where we have access to USB-A peripherals on a Mac? Okay, so now we are set up. Let's bring it back and have a look here. So excuse the wires and the mess, I'm still finalizing my final setup. But look at that, look at that sweeping landscape. Oh, screens, 1440p ultra wide high refresh monitor, 4K, 27 inch, monitor there. So they're the same size. I <laughs> just messed up the screen, but nice sweeping landscape here on the Mac mini. You don't have access to that. You have one single HDMI out here. I don't have that issue. I have two outs and they're both in display, right? Display port. That's good. Okay. So 1440p, it's recognizing the 1440p and 165 hertz for that monitor there. How about the LG Ultrafine? 60 hertz. It's only 60 hertz monitor uh, and it's going to be 4K, which is, you know, if I wanted to. That's 4K. Okay, so now I've, are, that alone is pretty sweet. Like, I mean, just the display dock in general, just being a display dock is pretty sweet. The fact that we're able to take, you know, this Mac mini with a single display out and now we can really extend it and it's high bandwidth. Okay, so we have our disk utility here. We have the Lexar, which I guess is just right away, ready to go. Uh, how's that? Go like that. We're gonna put it in internal storage mode. So we're gonna call that Lexar. Very good. So we're going to format that as external, internal storage there. Uh, that is internal, is external. So if I was going to swap this between other drives, I'm not. I'm going to leave this as an internal drive, at least for now. So we're going to go like that there. And there we go. Now we're cooking. So the internal Mac here, I mean, that's one of the value propositions of the Mac mini is, you know, it's so cheap. You get 16 gigabytes of RAM. The value is there, but the internal storage is trash. It's trash. I'm sorry. It's trash. 240, 200. 45 gigabytes, not even usable. The use, I have nothing installed in this. This is a fresh install. 190 gigabytes, that's like for me one video and a half. I can put one and a half videos on my Mac mini that I'm working on. If I have my video files on here, a lot of times they're like 70 to 80 gigabytes. The export is gonna be 50 or 60 gigabytes. I mean, I filled up my entire disk with one singular video. It's unacceptable, it's, it's horrible. So you need to get more storage. So you're either gonna buy more storage from Apple and that's what they want you to do. Um, but you can just go with this. So now I don't have to worry about that crap. I have huge amounts of storage. I have a two terabyte and I have a four terabyte. Let's uh, get in with some, first of all, synthetic benchmarks. We'll do some synthetics and then we'll do some real world with my Akases or Akasis. This is my primary drive that I use for editing. And here's the other cool thing. Let's say I go for the day. I do my recording on my DJI, which I do as a secondary. Sometimes I do my primary. And uh, you know, I take this out here. Well, a normal Mac Mini, it's kind of like this. Like, you, it doesn't work. You can't put it in. It's a pain in the ass. You have to use a dock or a dongle. Just pop this in here, like that. Ooh, it actually clicks in too. Very nice. And there it is. Boom. That's my DJI DJI micro SD card. That alone, that alone makes this fantastic because the fact that you're able to, you know, go do your recording. If you're using a video camera, if you're using a click, click camera, you have the larger size one, come home, pop it in and you're cooking it like that here. And let's start with the internal, like the actual internal drive. I think I have to tell it. Is that how slow it is? No freaking way. Is that how slow the internal drive is on a 
Mac? Like, actually? It's actually way slower than I thought it was. Holy shiza. So the actual internal drive on the Mac is not that slow. I think if you get the bigger one, it's faster, I believe. Like more storage, I think it goes faster. Okay, so the internal storage, I think it bifurcates them, if I'm aware, if I'm not wrong. It bifurcates the two storage drives. Uh, so you're gonna get basically the half the speed of them. So it's actually interestingly, it's not really that much slower than the internal storage on the Mac itself, that's funny. So that's that there. Select target drive, that was the Mac, that was that there. We'll go with the Lexar, that's the other internal drive. Yeah, so it's bifurcating them. So you have, you know, the full bandwidth of USB 4, Thunderbolt 4, and it's splitting them in half to allow it to have two drives. That's fine, I have no problem with that at all, actually. So let's actually test the external drive here, which is that one. Now this is a five gigabit per second external drive. So in theory, it should run at around five gigabit, oh, sorry, 10, 10 gigabit per second. Uh, external cable here, five, 10 gigabit ports on there. So this should run around, I don't know, 800 to 1000 megabytes a second. Let's find out. Yeah, so 1000, approximately 1000 megabytes a second. So the ports on the front there are running at 10 gigabit. That's good. Okay, and I suppose the last one is untitled. Yeah, that's that there, the little micro SD card. So let's see what we get out of that here. So we'll go with the micro SD card, untitled, untitled. There's stuff on there, obviously. I recorded some stuff. I have no fast, no idea how fast this is gonna go. Probably 100 megabytes a second. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's the initial. Yeah, so it should stabilize at 100 to 120 megabytes a second, which is as fast as that little SD card can go. Yeah, pretty standard for a little SD card. So basically what you're looking at here is around uh, 100 megabytes a second for the micro SD card, so that's good. Yeah. Look at that, look at that cool thing. Okay, now that one's going right into the Mac itself. And that guy has a little fan on it, so you can hear it. So, um, yeah, so I mean, I, I could test that. It's, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little USB 4 enclosure, Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. So we get Thunderbolt 4 speeds. That's fine. That was not the point there. That's very cool. So, But now what I can do, right, so I can close all this crap here. Okay, so we got that in here. Now this is my USB 4 that's sitting on top, which is probably actually gonna reside there. Uh, I can still slide it backwards and get out my SD card. Just enough room, actually. So let's say I have a video editing file here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the Samsung 990 Pro into a video editing uh, disc, essentially. So we're gonna come in here and we'll call this video editing. Uh, look at an accessory. Yeah, case of slim USB 4. That's the little guy. I actually never created that review I was going to. That's fine, I'm bad at YouTube. Come in here, we'll put that in here. We'll go uh, paste, see how fast it is. Probably, yeah, I was gonna say five gigabyte, gigabit. Five gigabytes, so that's a five gigabyte file. Took a couple seconds. The cool thing is, well, let's bring this back. We're not stuck with a single monitor now, and that's what I like. I like to have more than one monitor for this reason. Look at that. Video files go on the right, editing, goes in the not right, it goes in the center. So I have my full editing here, massive timeline along the bottom. Uh, this is my media pane, you don't need to be that big. Something like that. Editing pane over here, set it up however you want. And now I can bring in my, oops, grab it. Now I can bring in my video files over here. Okay, there we go. I mean, it's not about, not an editing thing about this program, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, I, I guess I could put a link to the video description down to this. I like Cyberlink, honestly. It, this is for Mac, I also use it on Windows. Okay, we're back. So I have the uh, right nice fast internal storage there. Scrubbing yeah, is real quick. Like it's really loud for some reason. <laughs> Turn that down. Uh, the scrubbing is nice and quick here. I mean, we have access to NVMe read speeds. What was it like? 1,500 1, megabytes a second, 1.5 gigabytes. Uh, that's fast, right? That's fast, fast storage there. So I mean, it's almost as fast as the internal, if not basically as fast as the internal storage. Okay, so thoughts on the product. It works exactly as advertised, so right off the bat, it's fantastic, right? It does exactly what it's supposed to do, so if you're interested in it, then yes, you should probably get it, because it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, if you're not sure about whether you should get it, let me tell you why you probably should get it. Uh, we have here uh, an easy accessible power button. Isn't that a thing? I mean, that's fantastic. It's not, that's not the only reason you'd buy it, but that's definitely nice. Uh, we do have access to two 
size SD cards. We have micro SD and SD. So when you go out for the day and you film your vlog or your video, or you have a camera and you take photos, wedding photos, you just come home and you just plop it in there. You don't need to use another dongle. You just pop it in there and there you go. Isn't that just a novel thought? Uh, then we do increase IO in terms of having USB-A. USB is awesome. I mean, I still use a lot of USB-A devices. On the flip side there, two display ports. That's critical for me. I'm not gonna use a Mac with one display out and it just looks sick. It just looks sick, right? And then I think one of the other cool things is, you know, I mean, IO docks, they're cool. You could just get a dongle. Uh, my, you know, my Acasis one over here, uh, off camera here. I mean, you could use it. It's definitely gonna work, right? Like you could use something like that. That's definitely gonna work. It's not as cool. Like you don't get a cool whole thing like that, which is sweet, but you could still, you could set this on your Mac mini and use it and it works very well. That's what I was using before. The secret is the built-in dual NVMe. Yeah, they don't both run at USB 4 speeds, 3,500 megabits second, because they're bifurcated. That's fine though, right? I'm gonna have one of them that is gonna be for games, which I do game on a Mac sometimes, and then the other one is gonna be for video editing. The Mac mini has laughable, laughable storage. They want you to either pay up to increase your storage or get huge amounts of iCloud storage, which costs a fortune. You don't have to do that. You get this here, right? Get yourself a couple NVMEs, which are massively cheaper than what you would pay for from Apple, and you're able to massively increase your storage. Just format them as internal storage, and then it, your Mac just essentially uses them as internal storage. I will put some links to the uh, Kickstarter down below right now. I guess I'll check back in in two weeks or something like that, and I'll put some links down below uh, if I can find like, you know, direct links, whatever, or if I can find like an AliExpress or something, I have some affiliate links through AliExpress and that, I'll put some links down below for that as well. And then if you buy it through that, I get a bit of benefit. So there you go. That's the cases right there. It is a fantastic product.